It was a love that showed me patience, showed me kindness, it showed me resilience. Their love has left an indelible mark on my heart. Now I stand here as a groom in front of all of you, and I'm grateful to have found a partner who has shown me the same love. Sophia, my bride, has been a beacon of that love my entire life since I've met her, embodying the same qualities that my family instilled in me. She has been my rock, my support, and my joy. Today is not about that. It's not about my journey. It's about the joining of two families. I want to express my gratitude to Uncle George, Maggie, and Prolos for welcoming me into their home with open arms. Thank you for giving me a family again. Thank you for the random weekday dinners. Thank you for the holiday celebrations. And most importantly, thank you for giving me moments over the past couple of months where I felt everything was normal. I will forever be indebted to you guys and I'm blessed to be joining your family. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. We all have people in our lives where we have an inkling that God might have placed them there. But with you, I'm a thousand percent sure that we were meant to be together and spend the rest of our lives together. Happy wedding day, my love. I don't have a lot to I can't believe the day is finally here where I can call you my husband and where our souls become one. The truth. To start, I really don't think there are enough words to be able to accurately put together how I feel about you. I swear I never believed in fate, but in our case, we didn't just cross roads. God placed us in each other's lives. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world that I get to do this life right by your side. We've had a long journey in a short time we've been together, but I can say confidently that we can make the perfect team. I never really knew what I was missing out until I met you. Within weeks, my attraction to your mind and our conversations was brewing. Within months, my feeling for you began to overwhelm and flood my life. Within years, I confidently knew I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you by my side. I can't wait to do life with you. I can't wait to travel the world and explore new cities with you. I can't wait to spend every Sunday glued to the couch watching football with Fouche. I can't wait to do all of the mundane things with you because it is always the biggest adventure as long as we are together. I'm with you. I want to take a moment to comment about your humor too. You're funny as hell. I love our banter and inside jokes, but I'm definitely the funnier one in this relationship. My life has been one crazy ride, and seeing the way you handled it when it all went down was a thing of beauty. Some people are not fortunate to have a rock and support like yourself. Your love and care played a vital role in my path out of initial darkness, and our relationship helped me mend the wounds that were open last summer. May the Lord who began his divine miracles at the wedding of Cana of Galilee bless you in your new life and bless your house and transform things that create division into means of blessing and fill your hearts with spiritual love. May he continue his support of you and grant you a long happy life with the blessed children. May he accept our prayers for this blessed ceremony. I can't trust my mind. I've never seen Sophia love someone so much, even her own brother, towards the love she showed Danny. And really this union today really shows me, and I think everyone here, that they truly love one another. And this is a relationship that really mimics one that Danny has seen in his own house, just as we have seen in our own house. Danny, with every fiber of my being, I am certain that your parents and brother, Uncle Masood, Hanet, and Marco, are watching from above and are the proudest they've ever been of you in their entire being, overflowing with joy at the man you've become. The 
person you've become today is a testament to everything they stood for and believed in. Through you, we remember and honor their memory. I couldn't be prouder of you, and I believe that everyone gathered here today shares this sentiment. Now, we eagerly anticipate the rebirth of the Salib family. With you and Sophia at the helm, there's no doubt that you will be exceptional parents and your children will follow the same path of excellence. It's who you are. What I love about this family is that whether you're a Dawood, a Hannah, Armenios, anything, a Tedros, anything, whether you're in North Jersey, South Jersey, Central Jersey, you can expect an open door. So thank you in advance for opening your door up in Tennessee and adding the Salibs to our heart. So Danny, welcome to the family, the family of crazy. As you know, but the family of love and open arms. This is my time!